Hey, how are y'all? I'm doing okay. So, well, maybe not. Well, okay, let's let's talk about uh, death. If you told me that um, I'd be 45 losing my mom, who was only 65, I would look at you and say, yeah, right, nah. -uh. She was healthy. She was. She wasn't on any medicine, any no daily medicine. She was working at Publix, at the deli. Her brain was on fire. She liked her job. She played pickleball. <sighs> she had two knee replacements done at the same time in Thailand and a hip replacement. And she had her life back but af after she had those, those uh, surgeries. And I'm blessed because in 2017, she and I lived in the same little apartment and got to know each other. And we had a couple of fights and guess what? Those fights actually brought us closer together. And I got to know my mom. And it turns out that she and I are very, very, very similar. We even look like sisters, like, like really <laughs> scary. Um, and she became my friend and I'm really blessed that I got to spend that time with her. <sighs> and life happened. My parents did a big move. They moved to a new house, the house they were living in got sold. And uh, all that stress just put her in the hospital. And at the hospital, they found out that um, she had cancer. And uh, it was already stage four, and it would have taken some pretty extreme things to make it go away. And she chose not to do that. And I'm proud of her, because she decided to walk her path and stick with it. And life happened. And um, she died Thursday morning, early. But she got to say goodbye to all of her children, and her grandchildren, and her husband, and now she's gone to where there's no pain. She's gone to meet the God she loved so much and talked so highly about. <sighs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Falling apart, crying a lot. And I'm trying to let myself walk through the emotions, not shut down. Not, if I'm crying, I'm trying to let myself cry until I stop, not be tough. So. Ah, fun stuff. Going home today. Gonna go see my man. He's got my massage table ready for me. So I'm gonna go get some love and some rest. Monday it's back to work. And I'll give you guys updates. I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to update? Life fucking sucks. Life's amazing. Ah, that. Um, but for those of who are still watching, we're going to have a celebration of life this coming Saturday, so the 28th in Jacksonville. Keep your eyes on my page. I'll post the details. We went to my mom's favorite store. She loves Lily Pulitzer. It's a real colorful brand, and she's always loved Lily Pulitzer. And so we all got Lily Pulitzer outfits. I've never owned anything Lily Pulitzer. It's a little expensive. And I have a shirt and a dress and we're gonna wear them to her celebration of life because it was her favorite clothes and we got her a dress. Ah, so interesting, you know, hanging out with his brothers and sisters and going, we're talking deep about all sorts of stuff. Conversations have gotten more intense and more trying to understand and figure out because we're dealing with so many different things to ugh, muddle through. I'm starting to understand that the world that my younger siblings grew up in was much different than the world I grew up in. Ah, so it's just one of those things. Like my, my youngest sister is 24 years old and I'm 45 or 22 years apart. And uh, it's just different. But I'm hoping this brings us closer. Lots of love to all of you. Take care of yourselves. And whatever grief life brings your way, I hope that you also just walk through it. Because I have learned that walking through my grief helps it dissipate a little bit quicker. Good luck. May God bless you. Bye.